guys, it's Lane Tobias reporting live at Zuccotti Park. The Occupy Wall Street protest going on right behind me. Uh, just here for the OB rag, I want to get the word out sort of on the West Coast, talking to people about independent media, about the practicality of the movement itself, about the growth of the movement. Uh, yesterday there was a mass uh, arrest on the Brooklyn Bridge, 780 people were arrested. I want to talk to some people about that. Uh, and also, you know, just give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on here. As from what I can tell, uh, this is a uh, sort of humanist collective, a collective of people sharing uh, pretty much everything from food to medical supplies to clothing, uh, and they are taking donations. It's going to start getting colder, so let's uh, let's focus on that too and see if you can support from afar. And uh, yeah, let's go check Wall it out. Street. Our Street. Rest one of us and two more appear. We are Legion for We Are Many. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit, like the, the um, impact of the mass arrest yesterday? Yeah, I think we you know, as far as here in the press you know, 700 people were arrested yesterday on the bridge. Um, I don't know the last time 700 people got arrested anywhere in any city at one time. So um, to me, in order for the police to carry that out, it had to be premeditated on that part. We were led, led, not let but led onto the Brooklyn Bridge by the NYPD and then they could round us as if though they had this already paid. The fact is they know that they're going to be court cases. They know that they not acted within the law. It doesn't matter because the fact is it does discourage some people from coming out and they make the very clear statement that we are not in favor of this kind of thing. So I think that they thought if they could arrest that many people, they could really cut into the movement. And so 700 people were arrested yesterday and we have, you know, 2,000 uh, people here again today, or you know, 3,000, whatever it happens to be. So um, it's about you know not being intimidated for one thing. Right. Because what's going to happen with increasing arrests is people can get more and more tied up in the legal system, and the focus then is on shame, 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 rather than on building alliances with the police. A lot of the police don't have contracts. Right. A lot of the police are the 99 percent. Um, and by going and getting arrested and doing it peacefully, we were saying, you know, go for it, but we're going to come back. And the fact that everybody is here um, after that just shows that it's not working anymore. You know, that's your system. We no longer accept that as our system. We've been arrested a number of times for doing civil resistance. Right. But why we're here is because we can't not be here. Right. And in the last few years, especially since Obama, we've been getting increasingly depressed about the absence of anything going on. Right. And this is the glimmer of hope, the first glimmer I felt in the last number of years. The energy here, the excitement, the, the commitment to keeping a focus. It's a community. It's a collective, and everybody has to pull their weight. Uh, most of the stuff you see when you look around are conversations happening between people, right? And that, to me, is really what this is about. It's people talking to each other, and you have to see people who expect to be disagreeing with you and come at you from the point of view of, you know, but, but, but. And when you let them speak and they start telling you, you know, what they believe in, you get to say, oh, I believe in that too. I believe in that too. So it takes away that culture that we've been trained for the last couple of years of like fighting and that we're not going to listen to each other. We're just going to put our opinion in people's faces. So there's a network here now of people who recognize where their um, interests intersect. I vote for Obama. All right, war's not over. We have more wars. Financial crisis isn't over. It's only escalated. Here and there are people here, political persuasions, right. which we absolutely don't support. But they're here because there's a real commonality around what's happening in this country and the fact that the middle class and the poor are really being totally squeezed out. And it's total corporatism, I mean, right. which is really what 
true fascism is. Um, I've been here uh, since last Wednesday. Each day, more and more people are showing up, and it becomes more and more diverse. Um, diverse points of view here, uh, diverse you know colors of people, diverse nationalities. Um, it's truly a diverse uh, movement. Um, you know, the message is, is that we are the 99%, right. the 99% of the population that are being ignored by the government. Um, and we exist, and we're here. And if you want to ignore us, you can keep trying, but we're going to be right here. We're streaming from eight different computers over there right. to sites all over the world. And even though you're not reporting on it, it's now in 52 cities across the United States. We're the 99%, we exist, we're here, we're going to be heard, and we are going to operate in our own system, and they're going to have to figure out how to deal with us. We're not going to have to figure out how to go and work with them in a system we know that's unjust and doesn't work on our behalf.